I think though that in the future, artificial intelligence can play a, a really big role in how real estate is managed. A lot of the analog aspect of building operations could be digitized and managed by uh, an, an artificial intelligence or a, uh, a model that uh, could create certain types of optimum situations depending on the types of environment you're trying to create. Our buildings will only get smarter. They'll only have more data. And ultimately, that data is going to help them be as smart as they can be, deliver a product that people want as efficiently as we possibly can, and ultimately save a lot of money and keep our buildings full. AI, in my mind, is that perfect engine, that V8 that'll go 0 to 60 in 3 seconds. But without gas, that engine is useless, and the gas is the data. I think the future application of artificial intelligence in real estate is going to be really, really important because it gives us the opportunity to um, automate a bunch of different functions that have been very difficult to automate in the past and will allow us to potentially overcome the coming talent crunch in the uh, uh, technical fields of building operations. We're going to shift the way that our workforce is going to work and from there we're going to shift how much space we need to occupy as, as, as a company the type of talent we're going to be hiring, um, and, and the whole body of work is going to change. You know, the, the ability to predict and prescribe what should be done tomorrow based upon what we learned yesterday is what it's all about. And in, in order to do that, you need to have an operating system, an integrated system platform that allows all data to come together, and then ultimately slice and dice that data, and then ultimately to use what I learned today to be better tomorrow. The impact of AI on every industry will be a workforce impact. And that is that, you know, what we're going to get to is a differentiation of knowledge workers and then kind of commoditized work and down from that truly automated work. So today, what a lot of folks have done is said, OK, this is commoditized, therefore we're going to shift it to a lower cost center. Or this is commoditized, we're going to uh, you know, insource it into a shared service. Um, and then we have a specialized knowledge workers that are going to sit in the field. In the future, what we're going to find is that you know, between artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep neural networks, as well as robotic process automation, a lot of those things are going to get um, automated. Well, on the procurement side, something that every owner has to do in terms of buying electricity, buying natural gas, buying steam, I'm counting cards. I know when those jacks and aces are coming up so that ultimately I, I really can zero in on what my loads are and perfect hedges that will protect me from any type of volatility in the electricity market. So I suppose for us, um, as a landlord and an institutional investor, um, it's ultimately about making better investment decisions and better asset management decisions. So any insights that help us um, to improve in either of those areas um, are going to be the key focus for us in the next few years. The first time you go to pull three, meeting to get three people together and, and you know, whatever system you're using says, great, I've picked the room for you, right? Or that experience or that interaction is going to be best supported by this space, right? It's going to be far different than, you know, just going to the eight-person conference room that we, you know, we might have otherwise put ourselves in. You know, what we see happening is a lot of these services will be free and they'll be paid for out of the savings that you'll have on procurement. Uh, and, and we believe that there will be additional cases in the future, but uh, it, it's a little more of a topic that's a little out there to really fully embrace. And so we're, we're working hard, but it'll take some time.